Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you where to buy the individual components to either repair or restore your vintage audio equipment and also where not to buy them. I'm also going to show you how to maneuver through the websites to find the parts you need. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy vintage audio equipment and you've come to the right spot, please subscribe and hit that notification bell as well as giving me a big thumbs up if you like this video and share it with others. Today I'm going to tell you where to get those parts for your vintage audio equipment. You know, I took a look on YouTube and, and I just did a search about vintage uh, audio parts, vintage stereo parts. I didn't see anybody talking about them at all. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been contacted by someone to say, well, you can't get the parts for these anymore, can you? Or where do you get the parts? Or even getting contacted by other technicians that they can't get parts. And I want to tell you that 99% of the parts to repair and restore your vintage stereo equipment is available. Um, it's available online at mauser.com and also digikey.com. Those are two big parts houses. If you can't find it at one, you'll find it at another. And I recommend them because they will always have a great selection, a big supply, and you know it's fresh stuff, right? If you're trying to get rid of your old electrolytic capacitors, I mean, why, why replace them with uh, something off of eBay that may have been in somebody's garage 15 years? And I want to say right now, I mentioned it a little earlier, um, but that's the place you do not want to buy parts. Um, it doesn't matter if those are brand new capacitors and they've never been out of the box and, you know, they're, they're no good. They're no better than the one that's been used for the last 15 or 20 years. So do not buy capacitors on eBay. And really do not buy any parts on eBay unless you're very familiar with the seller. I can't believe it, you know, when I hear about counterfeit transistors and counterfeit capacitors. I just can't believe there's a market. I get counterfeit Rolex watches, but who, who, who the heck's going to manufacture fake Nishnikon capacitors? But it's been done. Or who's going to, you know, fake on semi transistors? Who the heck would, would do that and then sell them for half price? How's there a market for that? Apparently there is because uh, there are counterfeits, but Mauser and DigiKey are both certified by the manufacturers, guaranteed what you order is what you get. Um, I'm going to show you online here, going to go inside now, and I'm going to show you how to maneuver through one of the websites. Um, but I, I just wanted to, to, to make it known that the parts are available. You know, there's just this, you know, out there you'll hear people just say you can't get the parts, and most of them you can. Uh, there are some, you know, if you have something like your power transformer go bad, uh, if you're looking for cosmetic parts, um, like in, in my case, I had a, uh, or I have still, a Sansui BA5000 that didn't have a power switch. Well, they're pretty rare. You're just not going to get a power switch from Sansui or probably anybody else. And I did buy a power switch off of eBay that came out of a Pioneer Spec 2. So some things, every now and then you are going to have to go to eBay or somewhere else to get parts. But 99% of them, I'm going to show you how you can uh, get them delivered to your door or get them delivered to your technician's door. So here we go. Open your browser to Google and just type uh, Mauser uh, in the search box. And up she'll come, uh, right at the top left. And we'll pick that. And it takes us to the Mauser website. And you know me. Uh, electrolytic capacitors are uh, my pet peeve. So let's look at those. Um, come down here to passive components right here on the left. I'm just coming down with my mouse. Go up here to capacitors. Click that and it's going to take you to capacitors. Over half a million different capacitors on this website. Ridiculous, isn't it? You wouldn't think there could be that many, but there is. But we're interested in those uh, 
those electrolytic capacitors that I hate so much. So we're going to click on those and it narrows it down to 83,000. Still a bit daunting, right? But uh, they have a very nice website. Uh, there's a lot of categories here if you scroll across, but we're just going to pick a manufacturer, and um, a lot of these manufacturers are the are are the ones that manufactured the components in uh, your vintage uh, stereo. So let's pick um, one of the best known ones, Nishnikon. And what we're going to do here now, you can see we've got different choices over here in product. Well, we're talking about audio equipment, aren't we? So why don't we just for the heck of it pick audio grade? electrolytic capacitors. And then we're down to 1350. It's still a little ridiculous, right? So let's pick what we're looking for. Let's say we're looking for a 10 microfarad. Down to 32, that's a little bit better. And then voltage rating, right? All different all electrolytics have a ver varying voltage rating. And let's just say 50 volts. That would be something typical in a in a solid state um, vintage stereo. And now we're down to nine. That's a little bit better, huh? So um, maybe we even want to look at temperature, though. You know, here we come over here on the right side of the screen, and let's just get a higher temperature one, just so we can narrow this down. Now we narrowed 83,581 capacitors down to two. So I think that's close enough for us to find something. So let's apply the filters. And then I'm just going to scroll down. There's our two capacitors. And you can see the price of them, uh, 32 and 34 cents each. If you buy them in tens, they're 23 cents each. If you buy them in 25, 19 cents, et cetera, et cetera. So um, they're quite inexpensive. And you can see their stock. They've got almost 2,800 of these. They've got almost 6,000 of those. So, And you can find out all the data on this you want. I know I'm going to bore you to death. I'm not here to talk about data sheets and all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to show you how you can find these parts or your technician can. So I don't want to go on and on about it. Maybe I will in another video, but I just wanted to show you um, one of the websites that are available that will supply 99% of the parts you need to get your um, vintage stereo up and running and being reliable for decades more. Hope you enjoyed the vi video. If, if you guys like this, please give me a like. If you um, feel that I'm worthy of a subscription and you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks again and have a good day.